And there's a growing problem on South Florida roads, and it's one you can't even see. People driving up and down our highways with illegal gas tanks hidden in their vehicles. And that is what landed a Hialeah man behind bars. CBS Force Peter Dench joins us live from FHP headquarters with this story. And Peter, you got to look at exactly how he did it, huh? That's right, Jim. FHP says these vehicles are ticking time bombs if you get into an accident. That's because they are equipped like traveling gas stations, and that's why this latest arrest raises big safety concerns. So you are being charged with um, being in possession of an illegal tanker. 35-year-old Angel Basares of Hialeah ironically lists his occupation as a transporter. Now he's accused of having an illegal gas tank in this white Ford F-250 pickup truck. Trooper Raul Gonzalez Cortina told me he stopped Basares' truck Wednesday here on 826 southbound near Northwest 58th Street. After speaking with the driver, I did a further inspection of the truck, and I was able to determine that this was a toolbox that had been modified um, into a fuel tank to illegally transport fuel. That's an electric pump, which is attached, uh, connected to the battery of the truck, a hose approximately 15 feet, feet long with a digital reader to dispense the fuel. Um, and determine how many gallons are being dispensed. The truck has a special toggle switch. You would turn that switch on, pump the, fuel, pump the fuel at the gasoline station directly into the truck, which would redirect the fuel into the tank. Gonzalez Cortina says Basaras claimed the gasoline was for personal use. It's a growing problem. FHP has custody of more than 20 vehicles with illegal gas tanks. It's a very lucrative uh, business, and we've seen it. It's been trending. Um, We've made several arrests on these type of vehicles. Obviously, uh, the dangers. These individuals are not operating uh, uh, by federal regulations. They don't have a placard that says what type of hazardous material they're transporting. If one of these vehicles gets involved in a crash, it could be catastrophic. Now, FHP has a special unit that looks for people with illegal gas tanks and says if you have one, you will be arrested. Bazaar's, meanwhile, had already been on probation while this was going on for separate grand theft cases. He was held on $5,000 bond and will be on house arrest. We're live at FHP headquarters, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.